guys welcome to code shakes youtube channel the problem that we are going to discuss today is musical chairs the problem appeared in december 21 cook off and is a difficulty level of simple there are no prerequisites to solve this problem the problem statement goes as follows there are n friends who have decided to play the game of musical chairs they have decided a number k initially and with each passing round of the game they remove exactly k chairs so in total there were n chairs in the beginning of the game and the friends have mutually decided that a number k such that k chairs will be removed at the end of each round so after first round we will remove k chairs after second round again we will remove more k chairs and so on the game stops when less than or exactly k players remain in the game okay so for example if we have initially n is equals to 11 and if we have k equals to 3 then after the first round we will have 11 minus 3 that is 8 shares after second round we will have 8 minus 3 5 after that 5 minus 3 2 and because now the number 2 is less than or equal to k the game stops over here now chef wants to figure out that how many possible values of k exist such that there will be exactly one winner in the game so basically if there exists after some number of rounds in the end if there is only one chair remaining then that player is the winner of the game so the question is that how many possible values of k exist such that we have only one chair remaining at the end of all rounds so this is the question now let's approach the solution uh, with the help of an example so basically what we can say is that we have a number n and in the end we want one single chair to be present because that is going to be the player who is going to win so if we have that one single chair present then whatever is the other remaining values that remaining value should be a multiple of k why because if you rearrange this then we have something like n minus 1 okay so n minus 1 total chairs have to be removed in the game if there has to be exactly one winner right so there were initially n chairs in the end we have only one chair so total of n minus 1 chairs were removed during the game so the number n minus 1 it should be a multiple of k so what does that mean if n minus 1 is a multiple of k it means that k is a divisor of n minus 1 so basically the question has now come down to how many divisors of n minus 1 exist as simple as that so we are going to solve this question uh, by using the fact that any number say we have a number uh, x so any number x can be represented as multiplication of two numbers okay say a and b so x equals a into b so from maths we know that at least one of these numbers is guaranteed to be less than or equal to under root of x why because we can argue that if the number x can be represented as under root x into under root x and if the first number goes up then definitely the other number must go down so at all possible times we have at least one number which is less than or equal to under root x so how does that help us so what we will basically do is let's call our number n minus 1 as x okay so we are calling the number n minus 1 as x and now we need to find the divisors of x how many divisors of x exist so we won't check all possible numbers from 1 to x rather we will just check the numbers from 1 to under root x why because that is sufficient to check right if say like we have a number 8 then if we know that if 2 is the divisor of 8 we also know that 8 divided by 2 that is 4 is also a divisor of 
so we can leverage this kind of information for our uh, problem so what we'll do we'll check all the numbers from 1 to under root x and whenever we find a divisor we will check if the counterpart that is the number divided by that uh, divisor if that is also uh, a different number like here we have 2 into 4 right but it may happen in some cases uh, this can be a corner case as well like you have a number uh, n minus 1 equals x equals something like 9 so if you try to check for 3 then 3 is a divisor but the other uh, number that is 9 divided by 3 is also same so in this case you don't count 3 twice you have to be very careful only if these two numbers are different you count them twice okay or else you count them only once so with that logic what we'll do uh, what's the final solution we get the number n from the question from that we compute n minus 1 for n minus 1 let's call that x as, as x now then we check all the numbers from 1 to root x whether they are divisors of x and at the same time we'll check if x divided by that number is a divisor and we'll keep on incrementing our answer okay so this is going to be the solution uh, now let's see the implementation in c++ so we have uh, the test cases that is int t c int t while t minus minus standard stuff and for each test case we take the input of n decrement n by 1 so this is now n minus 1 basically and now i have an answer variable now i run a for loop that goes from 1 to under root of x that is basically here i have not declared another variable x rather i am uh, changing the value of n only so i go from i is equals to 1 to a condition where i square is less than equal to n which is same as i less than equal to under root n okay and each time i increment my i by 1 also i check if the current number i is a multiple of n that is you can consider here as x because n minus 1 is x as per our discussion if that is the case i increment my answer and this is the second case which is very important that is only if the number if i square is not equal to n it means that n by i is not equal to i right so in that case we also increment the answer one more time like we saw right if we have a number 8 and if we have a number 2 then 8 divided by 2 is 4 so 2 and 4 both are the divisors so for that also we have to increment the answer so we do that and in the end we just output the answer similar is the case in python as well we just take the input decrement n by 1 run a while loop which is very uh, similar to the for loop check for the uh, condition if i is the divisor if yes i increment my answer by 1 and the other condition is that if i square is not equal to n then i again increment my answer by 1 and finally i print my answer so this completes the solution now let's submit the code on codechef id and let's hope for a quick ac great so our solution works i hope you guys understood the problem as well as my explanation if you have any doubts you can post them in the comments below i'll try to answer as much as i can